What a moment for Welsh rugby. A third Grand Slam under Warren Gatland beckoned going into the game off a record 13 successive wins. The only thing standing between Wales and Guinness Six Nations victory was an Ireland team who still had ambitions to retain their title with a win, hoping Scotland could do them a favour against England later in the day. The roof remained open at the insistence of the visitors on a wet and breezy Welsh afternoon. And within seconds of the start, the Welsh Dragons were breathing fire. They were on the attack straight from the first whistle, and Gareth Anscombe's kick was collected by Hadley Parks for a huge early score for Wales. It really was the perfect way to get the afternoon going for the Welsh, and a dream start for the Scarlet Centre. Anscombe clipped the conversion over for a 7-0 lead after just two minutes. Ireland came close to an equalising score in the seventh minute. Stockdale taking Sexton's crossfield kick in his stride before a brilliant try-saving tackle from Parks. Having been the try-scorer early on, Parks was again in superhero mode with this fantastic tackle. The Welsh extended their lead in the 18th minute when Anscombe landed a wonderful penalty to make it 10 points to no score. The crowd in Cardiff could sense that history was on the cards. Eight of Ireland's 13 tries in the Guinness Six Nations before this game came from lineouts, and it was a weapon that was used by the men in green who were badly in need of a score, but a massive defensive effort from the Welsh kept them out. The work done by defence coach Sean Edwards has been a feature throughout the championships and this was another example as Wales held the Irish attack scoreless once more. And Gatlin's men stretched their lead to 13-0 five minutes from half-time. Conditions might have been difficult but it didn't bother Anscombe who put the penalty between the posts from distance to give the Welsh a bit more breathing space. The half finished with another penalty to Wales as Ireland were penalised by referee Angus Gardner for collapsing the scrum, although it was clear that Sexton and Rory Best didn't agree with the ref's decision. It summed up Irish frustration in the opening period. Anscombe calmly put the kick over to give Wales a healthy 16 points to nil lead at the break. Wales picked up where they left off in the second half, another Anscombe penalty made it 19-0 and it was celebration time for the home crowd as Ireland really struggled to put any phases together, discipline was proving an issue as another penalty was conceded and Anscombe, who was enjoying his afternoon, kicked another fine effort off the tee and at 22-0 Wales were looking home if not dry. Ireland had only been kept scoreless three times in the professional era, the last being 2012 against New Zealand. And this was looking like it was set to become the fourth. Wales cruising to victory. Josh Adams got the crowd off their feet with a wonderful break from inside his own half. But in the end, Larmer tidied up for Ireland. On a day when try scoring opportunities were few and far between, this was a rare moment of invention. Shortly after that, it was back to form when Guinness man of the match Anscombe kicked another penalty, making it 25 points to nil. Even the most ardent Welsh supporter could hardly have hoped for this sort of a lead 10 minutes from time. The crowd were already celebrating as the clock was in the red, but Ireland did eventually cross the whitewash to take the bare look off the scoreboard. Substitute Jordan Larmer with nice footwork to step around the Welsh defenders and dive over the line for the try. It mattered little in the overall scheme of things. It did give some minor consolation for the Irish, but nothing more. Jack Carty converted with the last kick of the game to leave it 25 points to 7. But it was all about Wales. It was the Dragons' day. For Gatland, a record third Grand Slam as Welsh coach. A wonderful way for him to finish his last Guinness Six Nations Championship as Welsh boss before taking his troops to the World Cup in Japan on a massive high. To Warren Gatland, Captain Alan Wynne-Jones and all the Welsh squad, it's Dayon Cymru, Wales, Guinness Six Nations champions and Grand Slam winners 2019.